Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. And um, if you are new to the channel, please dun -dun -dun -dun, subscribe to the channel um, and also like uh, the videos if you do like them. And make sure to comment down below and just share your views and your opinion and what you think um, about the video. Um, today's video is going to be addressing um, how to come to China, how to come work in China and um, the, we'll be talking about the visa process um, and we'll also touch base on how it is to live in China. Okay and today again I am not alone I am with my friend Antoinette um, she is also working here in China but get, you know let her introduce herself and tell you guys what she's doing in China okay hi everyone um, as she said my name is Antoinette Degana and I'm also an English teacher in China so yeah we come from back home from South Africa and it's been a really interesting journey but fun <laughs> yeah, it, it really has been, guys. Oh my god, I can't believe I've been living in China for almost one yeah. year, five months, five months, yeah, one year, five months, six months. Come with it. I'm not even keeping track anymore, but <laughs> that's how fun it has been for me. I'm enjoying it, I've been liking it, and it, it's been awesome. But let's get to the how. How do you get to China? How do you apply for a job? How do you even get a job in China? So um, I'll, I'll tell you guys about my experience. Um, how I actually got to find out about a job in China was through a friend of mine on Facebook. So this friend of mine went to university together. I don't know if I should mention her name, but... Um, <laughs> Okay. Yeah, maybe not. Okay. Um, we went to university together and she was posting this, um, these nice pictures, guys. And you know, and then I was commenting, I'm like, eh, hey, hey, girl, I can see that you're posting really nice pictures. And this is not South Africa. This, I know, this is not South Africa. And I was like, where are you? Because I want to come there too. And then she was like, uh, are you serious? And I'm like, mm hmm, I'm dead serious. And then, uh, and then she slid on my DMs and then she's like, uh, if you're really serious about, um, you know, coming to where I am, I can give you more information and I'll tell you how to, to come here. Because um, then she told me that she was working and blah, 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 and all the details. Um, then she sent me an email. Well, I sent her an email um, sending my CV and... and um, yeah, sending my CV to her, then she was going to send the CV to her DOS. Uh, DOS at, at our school is a director of studies. Um, did I even tell you guys that I'm a teacher? <laughs> they probably know. But probably. Anyway, I have an English teacher. Uh, yeah. Um, so she then sent um, my CV to the director of studies the following day. Um, he then responded to arrange a, an interview with me and then um, we did the interview. In the meanwhile, I was busy doing some research, checking the school, um, you know, trying to... And I also asked to be connected with other people who were working um, at that particular school. So, um, yeah, so the research that I did, um, I went to the... Should I even say our school? <laughs> I, I don't know if you should. Because, yeah, everyone has to Yeah, so, and then I, I researched um, our school, and it was legit, it was very, very popular. We also have um, the online school online in, in, in South Africa, so, like, it does exist in South Africa, first of all. Um, it's from the UK, Canada. <laughs> Guys, it's from somewhere in Balungwini, okay. Above the waters, past the waters. Yeah, it's somewhere there. Um, so I did that research and I made sure what the, the score is legit. And um, 
Yeah, and then I went, I was going through the, well, so I did the interview process and um, yeah, so I was just talking about how I got the job. That's how I got the job. And then how did you get the job? So I got the job because this little lady here referred me. So another way you can get a job is through a referral, referral system. So basically to your DOS of Director of Studies, also your boss, you actually refer someone with their CV and basically if they're interested in the job and then your DOS will continue with that process and have an interview with that person directly. So with me, I work at the online center in Hefei, the city we're in, um, and I was referred to my DOS at that time and it didn't go through the head office, it went directly to her and then um, it was a three-part process and then I spoke to her about working for the online center. <laughs> and basically just she asked me what I what if I prefer to stay there and what my requirements are and what I need to do. And yeah, from then on then I was successful. And yeah, that was just the how as well. Yeah, and also guys you can also go on, on, on the internet, um, just search uh, how to like working or teaching English in, in China, China. Yes. Um, and there are a lot of options that will pop up and also so there is this um, institution that um, where you can do your TOEFL certificate at um, they also help you to get jobs um, it's the one that I know is eye to eye TOEFL and um, I feel like if, if you did your certificate with them, then it will be easier for them to help you find a job, like legit jobs um, in, in China and Korea and Japan and, um, you know, Indonesia, yeah. Thailand, yeah. etc. Right. And yeah, just do your research before you even um, accept any, yes. any job offers. Make sure that. Um, the school is legit, um, that there are people that you can talk to that are working at that school and um, just to check how it is, um, you know, to work for that school if you will like it because, you know, it's, it's, it's very different when you are speaking to the employees who've been working at that school for like a year, two years, um, they will give you a different story than the employer is giving you and if you guys are if they are talking the same, um, you know, language, or they're giving you the same story, then you know that the school is a good school. It's legit, um, and you can continue with the, the process. Okay, so after the the interview, then what happens? Then basically, because we had different experiences, so on my end, because I got a referral, um, and then they kind of kickstart you to help you get all the other documents required to actually help you get to China. So one of the requirements is a TEFL certificate um, and basically I got sent the login details to actually start the course, the online course which they actually paid for you, well our company did. Some companies require you to get on your own and then pay for it on your own in a different place in South Africa or wherever you're from. Um, so basically the other documents that were required for me to actually start the process. So I'll just name a few so it's you get the gist of it. So you need a passport, which is valid. Obviously, because you, you can't just travel. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you need a passport, which has been mm -hmm. valid um, for quite some time. And then you need a recent passport-sized photo. You need a, a degree. Uh, it could be a bachelor degree. It could be a BSc degree. Any degree. You need a letter of intent to show you actually do want to come and work in China. Um, you need a criminal background check. So basically, don't do anything with stones. If you want to have a clean, clean slate, um, you need a TEFL certificate. You need a reference letter from your previous employer. You need a CV or something called a resume. Um, you also need the authentication of your degree and an authentication of your criminal background check, and that will start off the process. Yeah, they need all those those documents, um, and just. If you don't have a TOEFL yet, um, some companies do help you to, to get your TOEFL, right? But some don't. They expect you to, to have your TOEFL already. Um, but I feel like the process will be quicker if you already have your own TOEFL because then you won't have to wait to complete the entire course and um, for you to get the certificate and you know because you still have to go through like a process of 
authenticating a document and waiting because you have to wait for them to be authenticated um, and yeah and your police clearance as well just make sure that the, the minute that you decide or you feel like you know what I want to go through this process start the police station start at the police station go get your police clearance <clears throat> sorry go get your police clearance because it it might take a couple of months yeah a long time because not not always a couple of months <laughs> oh my god <laughs> But <laughs> they will tell you that it will take two weeks, okay? But guys, you know the systems at home, right? So mine took longer as well, um, but it wasn't. I think it was three to four weeks. Um, yeah, but what all I'm saying is that if you want to, like, you know, be doing your things, getting your things, like very quickly just get that out of the way and know that you're literally just waiting for your police clearance and it will be valid for six months right so you can use it um in the six months um that it's valid for um and yeah because those are the two documents that take very long for you to get um and yeah okay so moving on to the the visa process oh Wait, before you even move on to the visa process, you need to wait for invitation. for your company to send you an invitation letter. Okay guys, so now we are going to talk about how you can get your documents ready to be sent to your school, right? Because you have to send all your documents to your school for them to apply for your invitation letter. So, first, you need to make sure that your degree is authenticated and you need to do that at the Department of Education, right? Um, and it's a same day, uh, you know, process. Like they, you go there, you're like, uh, I need my degree to be authenticated. They do it for you and then <clears throat> you're good to go. When you leave, you leave with your authenticated degree. And then you go to DECO. And then you go to DECO, which could be also known as Department of Inter national relations um, so basically go to documents to the department of international relations and get your documents notarized so that would include like your criminal background check and your degree as well as a TIFL certificate mm -hmm. some companies require you to go to a lawyer externally and get notarized with my company and my process I did not have to do that so I went directly to the department and it was notarized there and then you get your documents back and then step two Step two is that you need to then um, take all the documents that you've gathered, you've authenticated your, your degree, you've notarized, you've done everything um, at the Department, Department of Education, 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 right? And then you have to go to the Chinese consulate for it to be authenticated again. Okay, and that process will take you about a week. Approximately. Yeah, approximately a week. But they also have like different services where you could um, make it faster and, and quicker, you know. Um, but you have to pay more. Now you don't, apparently, now you don't have to pay anymore. But I had to pay a fee for me to authenticate um, my document. Um, but now you don't, you don't need to, you don't need to pay. How lucky are you? I was lucky. Anyway, step <laughs> three is. Step three. So after you've gathered all those documents and they have that step from the Chinese consulate, then you need to apply for an invitation letter. All right. So without the invitation letter, you can't step foot in China and claim you're going to work mm -hmm. legally. So yeah, legally. Yes, legally at at that point. Yeah. <laughs> but so basically, they get you, you send it all through to your HR department or mm -hmm. whoever's trying to hire you, and then wait for approximately two weeks mm -hmm. for an invitation letter. And step four. Yeah, and once you've received um, your invitation letter from your school, because the, the documents that you send, you send them to your school and they apply for the invitation letter in China, then they have to send you the, the invitation letter. So once you've received that, then you can go to the Chinese um, embassy in Santon, okay? It's in Santon City, actually. Yeah, Santon City. Then you take um, your invitation letter, your passport, um, and 
just make sure to just take all the mm. other documents just in case because the processes in China constantly change like they are constantly changing um, but the the documents will remain the same just that sometimes they might say that they don't need this and then um, all of a sudden now they they need it but it's it won't be any uh, any document that is new that you've never heard of it will be the documents that you already have so just take all your documents to the um, to the Chinese um, embassy to apply for your visa and then you yeah when you get there you will give them the documents you'll fill in um, your visa application form and then you'll submit as well as your documents and you will leave your passport there Okay, and then they will tell you when um, you should come and um, collect your, your passport um, with your visa. And then you will pay an amount um, when you come to collect your, 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 your passport. I will put the amount um, here on the screen or on the description uh, box down below because right now I can't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> and also, and also the, the visa you are applying for is a Z visa. Make sure because it's an yeah. X visa for students and a Z visa if you're going to work here. Yeah. Mm. yeah, guys, just make sure that you you are getting the right a, visa. the Z visa because yeah, some people yeah, don't <sighs> guys please don't take tourist visas and try and change them here when you get here because they're not good. Not good. Yeah. Chances are they might turn you back. Like you, Not we've heard stories. The stories that you guys hear about people, blah 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 blah. Sometimes, most of the time, actually, it's because they don't have the correct documents, and Chinese people will not let you stay in their in their land with with incorrect documents. Incorrect documents, right? And then, um, yeah, once you've received your your visa then Ta -da! then you can start preparing so basically mm -hmm. you also should keep in contact throughout mm -hmm. this whole process with the HR department of the company is going to hire you as well as your DOS director of studies which will every school you're going to work in mm -hmm. and then um, you can start preparing basically also asking how much you might need when you come to China you can start packing preparing for the season mm -hmm. Also, you're going to arrive in because the season in China will not be the same as in South Africa. Yeah. So be aware of what you. It's actually, opposite. Opposite. <laughs> yeah. So be aware of what you're packing for. Um, how much money you might need to bring along with. Yeah. Um, as well as. Yeah. Just make sure that you download VPN, guys. Download oh, yes. VPN because you will not be able to access any emails, your WhatsApp. You will not be able to 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 access well not ev not anything but anything that has to do with Google, forget about it. And chances are like not even chances like most of our phones back at home they use Google's. So when you get here, it doesn't function. And Your phone is like, uh, oh mm, no, right? And because when I got here, I was so sure I was. Yeah, my WhatsApp did not was wasn't working, and I was connected to the Wi-Fi and. I just couldn't access my WhatsApp messages and I didn't know. Well, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know that I needed a VPN. But um, if you download WeChat from back home, then you'll be able to use that with no problems. You don't need a VPN for that. So, yeah. And then, yeah, then you can book your flight. The flight. Start packing. I started packing before I even got she my like invitation it. letter. I was like, I am leaving anyway. I am out. <laughs> guys. But she was anyway, guys, I will tell you that that is a story for another day. <laughs> like I was, I was ready. Nothing was chasing, was like was chasing me away from home. But I just needed a change. Nothing was chasing me away from home, <laughs> but I was just excited to start a new journey. Yeah, yeah. So how has it been since you've been here? It's been amazing. It's been amazing. I've been loving. I really have been loving. I feel like I've been saying this. Yeah. I think she's, she's found a home here because she kind of looks like them. So. I don't. 
<laughs> I don't. So but yeah. Them. Yeah, I've been love. I've <laughs> been loving it. She's been loving it. Guys. Like McDonald's. I'm <laughs> loving <laughs> it. <laughs> dun, dun. It's nice. It, it's different, but not that different. Um, some people experience like cultural sh shock and stuff. Uh, not that much. Like I, to me, it's it's the same, guys. That's why I'm like home here. Same thing. Um, but obviously, there are those moments where you're like. Um, what do people actually do that? Do people actually do like why? <laughs> why are you doing that? Why? why? But, um, yeah, the people are nice. Um, I experienced snow for the like proper snow for the very, very first time. The first time I experienced snow was at, at school, and it was just like. Just, Drizzles of snow. That wasn't proper snow, but like <laughs> proper, proper, proper snow, guys. I experienced snow for the first time, and it was amazing. I love it here. For you, <laughs> <laughs> she's like the face of I love it here. But um, for me, I I experienced the culture shock. To be honest, um, I think because I will probably their their standard of beauty is really different to the rest of the world. Per se. Yeah. So when you have a lot of melanin in your skin and you're quite dark, you just prepare yourself mentally basically to get here. They are nice they'll always but because they're genuinely curious about wanting to know where you're from, why are you here, and then they'll assume you know Chinese. And they'll speak to you in Chinese and be like, Timudong, but they will, you know. The so minute you say Timudong, you've opened the floodgates of Chinese. Because yeah. like saying, Expustania Afrikaans, you just say it in Afrikaans. So same vibe, but basically, um, people were nice. But I did experience a little culture shock um, at first, so I took a while to adjust. Um, but now that I think I've adjusted, it's been fun. It's been cool. Um, meet new people. Um, they're yeah, they're very open people. They're just mainly curious to kind of talk to you as a foreigner. But yeah. Yeah, guys, like, I've made a couple of Chinese friends. These people are really nice. Can I stay here forever, China? <laughs> Can I get a permanent residence? Maybe not. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, um, oh, yeah. Traveling is cheaper. Traveling is cheaper. Traveling is cheaper, yeah. Yeah. Because the subway makes it easier for you to go different places. So mm -hmm. when you see people like, oh, I'm in a different city, I'm blah, 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 you think that they're darling. They could be, but they're also could be that it is really cheaper to travel around China. Yeah. So, yeah. We are going to talk about the food. Da -na -na -da. <laughs> yeah, how's, how's, how's the food? Well, people have different experiences with the food. I, for one, the noodles are good. Yeah, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, li I like the noodles. Um, they make really good, like, they, they love their chicken. They will put their heart into making chicken. Mm -hmm. But they like, and because I don't like spicy food, so for me it's a problem because they will add and mm -hmm. add and mm -hmm. add. Mm -hmm. And then the spices <laughs> are, are a lot. So, um, the one issue for me, um, mm -hmm. they make their rice as easy to use chopsticks as kind of clamper it up. So, that's okay if, yeah, that, that's, that's not bad. The only other weird thing, they don't eat dogs. Yeah, There's that lie that, well, in most yes. places. Is it a lie? Okay, in most places we've been to, they don't eat dogs. <laughs> yeah. In most, yes. Yeah. But general consensus, yeah, they actually treat them like little babies. Um, but besides that, the food is okay. Just, uh, how is the flask of food? Right? Yeah, the food is amazing. I, I like it. I really do like it. Um, my current favorite are beef noodles. Um, I love those. Like they must be spicy. Okay, I was wondering if green. She ruined it. Okay, they must be spicy. Mm, I love those. And um, the fried rice. 
that is nice I really like it and um, I found myself enjoying hot pot lately um, that is nice um, yeah I will do a video um, at a hot pot spot <laughs> um, yeah so that you guys can see how what a hot pot is and um, yeah and I've have I've, I've had like some weird things and my mom would be don't, shocked like because jump, I'm, wait so because good. first before um when i got here i, d I wasn't eating um prawns mama i eat prawns now and i actually like them i'm so proud of that <laughs> I, I, i'm so proud of that so, it took her a while I'm so proud um and crayfish is really big here in china i tried it i don't, I don't not not in china but uh, in Khofei, like it is um, a, uh, a Khofei dish. They love it so much. Um, I've tried it. It's 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 not. It's just. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. It's not. It's not bad. Yeah, maybe. But I've only tried it once. So maybe if I try it again and. Maybe if I try it again, I'll like it. And I had mohodu. I had mohodu, guys. I will put a picture here or somewhere. I will put a picture. I will put a picture and show you guys. I had mohodu. It was nice. It was uh, it was a hot pot. I feel like I need to go to that hot pot for the video. It was amazing. It was amazing. And um, what else did you try? She's been at it, guys. I mean, she's. She's being why, okay, okay, what did you have? Okay. What else, did, what else okay. did you try? So I tried. <laughs> okay, so I will confess for this young lady. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll confess for myself. <laughs> I'm a grown ass woman and I to confess for my own damn self. <sighs> okay. So uh <laughs> weird weird things. Uh the weird things that I had were uh, I had pig brain. Yeah, it tasted like tofu, but like the slimy one because there are different types of tofu and stuff. But the just just a little bit slimy-ish on your mouth. Uh, I don't like slimy things, but it does. but actually it wasn't bad. Okay. Go. okay. Guys, I'm about to try a pig's brain. Okay. You will love it. I will love it. I really hope I will. Okay, small. Let's start small. Let's start small. Okay. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> And guys, I enjoyed it. It was nice. It tastes like chicken. Frog is nice. She's one of them. Frog She's is nice, them. guys. She's like one. I couldn't believe it. Like the first time when I was having, when I was tasting it, I was like, "Are you trying frog?" That's three. Frog. Three, two, two, two. one, go. The problem is frog is very good and you're like, mm, do I like frog now? <laughs> yeah. Tastes tastes better than chicken. Mm. Yeah. I like chicken. But I think okay. the spice made it very good too. So have yeah. You know. Guys. Yay. Willie yes, really loves it. <laughs> Me too, me too. <laughs> I also like it. So tomorrow another lingo. Mm-hmm. You must try frog. Yeah, I had frog and I liked it. I felt guilty for liking it. And she hasn't had anything weird. It's too safe. What what have you had? I caught myself. Yeah, I don't I'm scared. But on the spring festival, um, they have this delicacy type of, it's like a little bowl of like gluten and milk and stuff together. Um, it has like red bean in the middle. Um, and when you bite into it, it explodes into your mouth. Um, it was interesting. 
was different. Mm. Yeah, but guys, you know, it's there are Western restaurants if you don't want to eat Chinese food um, or if you sometimes need a break, you know. Um, <laughs> you do, because have you seen the rate that I've, I've gained weight? It's ridiculous. Like, are you yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, like, guys, if, 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 yeah, Chinese people, I don't know, I don't know how they do it, because it doesn't make them fat, it doesn't make them fat, but try and eat that food every day. Because they do like adding oil See the to way food, yeah. yeah, the they, oil they is adding oil, and they love eggs, the oil, yeah. they love eggs that adding oil, um, yeah, so they have chicken, eggs, oil, and oil. Rice. <laughs> yeah, you, rice. You will eat rice in everything. Rice cakes, rice, everything. It'll be dessert, it'll be main course, or the supper, it'll be breakfast. Mm, Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so guys, if you really want to come to China, do it. Do it. We will move on to like. An interesting topic. How is dating in China? Wow, the way she looks at me, like I've been so I've not been dating in China, okay. My mom should be serious. But I haven't <laughs> been dating in China. Uh, but I have been on a couple of dates. I don't mind meeting new people. And a lot of the times if you see someone like, oh hey, hey, we shared contacts, okay, cool. And then we start talking. And like let's have dinner. And like sure. And just like that. Because I think also because it's a primarily safe country to just go out for dinner. Why are you looking at me like this, girl? It's easy to go for dinner with new people <laughs> at different mm -hmm. times, like at night and stuff. And also because you work, because um, we work from Wednesdays to Sundays, and then you work from like afternoon until night. Late night, you're still kind of free and you want to go home. It's cool. So dating is like a big connotation. Because it's kind of a good but like it's not true. But anyway, um, it's been interesting. I met, I met new people. It's been a fun experience. You get, <laughs> you get to meet new people, and it's just a fun experience. Yeah, mm. that's all. Just don't catch feelings. Mm. Feelings. Unless actually, you, unless you want to find love in China, then yes. If you are like ready to find like and move to a different country, because you meet lots of foreigners in this country, then. Yes, go ahead, find love, catch feelings. But if you just are going to get to meet new people on a very casual basis, meeting new people, having dinner with them, it's okay. So how has dating been in China? Yes? For who? Who are you asking? <laughs> <laughs> who is she asking? This girl. Uh, Dating in China has been non-existently fun. Yeah, it's been. Yeah, I've been. Please say it was explore more. Uh, yeah, so guys, no, no, no dating here in China. Should I say unfortunately? Unfortunately. 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 How is it unfortunately though? Because I feel like you aren't trying to just meet new people in different settings. I I have friends. Yeah. And? Yeah. I have friends, I have friends too. What are you trying to say? <laughs> anyway. anyway. I, I do meet people. I really do meet people. I mean, friends. With guys. Me. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, this video has been really long. Um, yeah, I really hope that it was number one informative for the people who wants to like to come work in China, and um, we gave you more information about like the documents that you need and the processes that you are going to go through. Um, also, told you about how to apply. Um, and uh, what else? And um, we also touched based on how it is to live in China, 
you know for this is specifically for us Our you know and teachers and people well not just teachers but people who are working um in china because it it, it might be different to people who are just studying in china um and if you saw the video that we, i posted um that was addressing studying in china and how to actually uh, applying the different scholarships and stuff um hope you watch that if you didn't it will pop up somewhere there you must click on it when you are done just pop in there and have a look at it it's very informative that if you are a student and you would like to apply um to chinese university and come and study here and you're interested about um scholarships just go go there ch check it out and um yeah we even told you about the dating and food things in china dating in china i don't know she, uh, why is she dying why is she more excited than me i don't know why? i really don't know why i'm doing why? this <laughs> and the food and the food um and my weird food experiences that you actually like yeah yeah guys this is the end of the video i hope that you enjoyed it and uh, you liked it if you liked it please press the like button and um you know if you are a person who is living in china and um you have had like your own experiences please do let us know and if you can you know um add on to what we we already said about um the application process and the visa process and if anything is different please do share with us let us know on the comment section below and um yeah for people who are living in china let us know like what weird things have you had guys i'm really interested like i'm trying to be so open-minded about these things and try different things and to try new things the only thing i'm not trying is dating <laughs> That's the only thing she's not open to. But I'm to. trying other but things that count. What have you? What have you had? I, mean, I did nothing. I, I said sorry. I've had frog. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that should excuse me from dating. Okay, like okay. food and men are the same thing. Okay. You know, but anyway. Uh, yeah, I hope my mom doesn't watch this video as well. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so guys, this is the end of the video. Okay, this is a very long outro. Uh, yeah, so subscribe if you haven't, please. Um, like the video. Uh, <laughs> Press the like button if you like this video and um, make sure to also check out my other videos. And see you on my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>